<sighs> All right, so this morning we will start on our knees, just flattening our feet, sinking those hips back over to our heels. Take a couple of breaths here, let those ankles <sighs> just stretch out a little bit. And then we're going to start thinking about our pelvis. So our pelvis is a big bowl, if you think about it this way. And a neutral pelvis, we're not spilling it or anything. And sometimes when we tilt, we'll tilt it forward or we'll tuck our tail and maybe we'll bring up that front edge. So what we're going to think about right here is just finding that neutral pelvis. So turning it a little bit up and it'll feel a little relief in our low back. Hands can come to our thighs, we can close our eyes. Take a few breaths. And just bring our focus inward to ourselves. Do our best to just kind of let the outside world go a little fuzzy. We know it's there, it's not going to disappear, but maybe we can just not pay attention to it too terribly much while we practice. Good. And now let's bring that focus down into our pelvis again. What we're going to do is just kind of do some little tilts. So as we inhale, we'll tilt that pelvis forward like we're sticking our butt out. We'll find a tiny arch in our low back. And then exhale, bringing it back and even past neutral, little round. So really we're just doing some low back cats and cows. Inhale, tilting that pelvis forward. Exhale, bringing it backwards. Good, inhale, tilting, little arch. And exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale. And while we're here rounding, let's just keep rounding that spine. We'll bring our hands down to our mats into a bit of a child's pose. Take a breath or two here. And then inhale, we'll walk our hands back. We'll roll our way up, pull the shoulders back. Fingers and hands will find their spot behind our butts and our feet. And then pull the shoulders back, tilting the pelvis. And we'll lift those hips up off of our heels. Good. Exhale. Let's lower those butts back down. And then we'll just roll our way into our child's pose. Good. Inhale. Coming on up. Hands will find their spot back behind us, pulling the shoulders back and lifting the heart and the hips. Good. 
and then exhale back down and all the way to our child's pose One more time, inhale, we'll roll our way back up, pull the shoulders back, lift the heart, lift the nose, hips come up as well. And let's stay here for a few extra breaths. Do one more deep inhale, lift the hips. Stay for that exhale. And then we'll slowly lower the hips back down. Release the hands. And we'll come all the way down to our child's pose. Take a full breath here. Good. Let's come up to our tabletop. Open up those fingers really, really wide. Place them underneath of our shoulders. And then as we press into these hands, we'll pull the shoulder blades apart behind us. Strong shoulders, strong arms. Knees are underneath of our hips. And then just that little tiny tilt to keep that pelvis neutral. And we can even flex the toes, flex the feet behind us and give those arches some love. Good. We can even press the hips back toward the feet. We've been pointing for quite some time, so maybe we give them a little flex. Good, and back to our tabletop. Up to you if you wanna keep those toes on the mat or we can soften them back down or we can just go back and forth. Let's go into our regular cats and cows here. As we exhale, we'll round and lift the spine up to the sky. Thinking about rounding the entire spine this time. And then inhale, we'll drop that tummy. We'll lift the heart, lengthen in the neck. Exhale, we'll round. And inhale, we'll arch. Good, moving with our breath at our own pace. Let's do one more cat and one more cow. And then when we're ready, we'll meet back in that neutral spine. Breathing into that belly, nice strong core here. Good, and now let's move side to side. So we'll just do like a little wag of our tail, moving our hips in towards our shoulder, our shoulder toward the hip. And then we'll go over to the other side. And 
And again, back and forth with our breath, exhaling. Inhaling to the center and then exhaling over to the other side. Maybe we feel those side bodies open up. Outsides of our hips. Waking up. Let's do one more to each side. Good, and back to the center. Good, and now from here, toes are tucked, pressing into those hands, lengthening in the spine. We'll just lift the knees up off of the ground, just a couple of inches. And then we'll lower down. And then again, inhale, lift the knees. And lower down. And now let's press into those hands and the toes. We'll lift the knees a little bit higher. Give a waggle if we would like. Not quite in downward facing dog yet. Good. And now from here, we've made like a little rectangle with our hands and our feet. We're gonna turn those hips over toward the left. Lifting up that left hand, and we're just going to lower that right hip down to the mat. Notice we're just pivoting on our feet. Inhale, coming back to the center. And then exhale, turning toward the right, lowering that left hip down. Keeping nice and strong as we move, inhaling up. Exhale. Lowering down, keep these ribs on the inside long, spine is strong, inhale up, and then exhale, lowering down, inhaling back up into this little bear position here, good, and now Let's press those hands into the mat. We'll lift our hips up toward the sky, bending the knees deeply as we lengthen from our fingertips all the way up to our tails, pedaling our feet, waking up the backs of our legs, and finding our downward facing dog here. Good, let's inhale, come forward into a plank. Plank can be on our toes, or if we're not quite ready for that yet, they can be on our knees. And then exhale, lowering that chest down toward the mat. Hands find themselves underneath of our shoulders. Let's pull those babies back. Inhale, scooping forward, and then lifting into a baby cobra. Good, let's tuck those toes, press into the hands, back to our downward facing dog. Good, inhaling forward into our version of plank. And exhale down. Inhale, little cobra. and then pressing back to downward facing dog. Lift up our right leg, pressing the heel back behind us, keeping the hips level for now. Good, and now let's kick ourselves in the bum. We'll open up the hip to the right. And then slowly we'll bring the knee into our chest, shifting forward, 
stepping the foot in between our hands for a lunge. And let's keep that left hand on the floor. We'll lift up the right little twist here. And then exhale, let's bring that right hand back down to the mat and we'll lower the left knee as well. We'll bring that left knee all the way underneath of our hip. Coming on up, hands can find the thigh of that right leg. Pull the shoulders back, lift the heart. And then again, let's think about that pelvis, tilting it back so that we keep pointing that tailbone down below us instead of back behind us, which will help get that hip flexor. Okay, let's lift up the left hand, reaching high, keep tucking, keep reaching. And now let's just tilt over to the left. So I'm gonna turn, or to the right. We're tilting to the right, continuing to open up in that side body, more in the hip flexor of that left side. And then back up to the center, both hands come up to the sky. And now this time, let's turn to the left for real this time. We'll lower down that right hand to the floor inside the foot and a little twist here. Good. Both hands find their spot on the mat, either side of that right foot. We'll tuck the left toe back behind us, lift up into that full lunge, and then we'll step forward to the top of our mat for a forward fold right here. Soften the knees, hold our elbows, sway side to side. Good, and now we'll release our elbows. Hands can find the shins or our toes. Looking forward, finding a flat back and long legs. And then exhale, let's fold a little bit. Maybe a little deeper. And then bending the knees, rounding in the spine, inhaling all the way up to the sky. Good, exhale, little back bend here, opening up the shoulders, lifting the heart. Inhaling up. And now let's bring those hands or those thighs together, hands come around, sitting down into our chair. Good, inhaling high. And then exhale, softening the knees, hinging at the hips, finding a fold. Inhale to that flat back again. Exhale, we'll fold, hands find the mat, we'll step back into our downward facing dog. Inhale, let's come forward to our version of plank. Exhale, we'll lower down. Inhale, scooping up into our little cobra. Pulling the shoulders back, lifting the heart. Good, tucking those toes, pressing back to downward facing dog. Uh, 
Let's lift up that left leg back behind us for three-legged dog. And then we'll kick ourselves in the bum, open up that hip to the left. Good, and then slowly let's bring the knee in towards our chest, shifting forward, stepping in between our feet for a lunge here on this side. Wiggle our way into it. And then we'll lift up the left hand, little twist. Good, exhaling, let's place that left hand back down to the mat. Right knee will come down as well, underneath of that right hip. Find ourselves in like 90 degrees on both of our knees. Hands can come up to that left thigh. Let's pull the shoulders back. Tuck that tail, we can even use our hands. Always feel how our body is functioning right now. Pointing the tail down toward the ground, lifting the heart, shoulders are back, necks are long. And then we can raise up that right hand. And then when we're ready, we can just tilt on over to the left. Keep tilting that pelvis, tipping over toward the left. Maybe we're opening further in that side body. We can get into the pec a little bit. Into that hip flexor. Good, back up to the center, both hands find the sky, lengthening from tip to tip. Good, and then from here, we're just gonna lower this left hand to the inside of the leg. Right hand reaches to the sky. And then both hands will find the mat on either side of that left foot. We'll tuck the toe behind us. And we'll step back for a downward facing dog here. Pedal those feet. Waggle the tail. Good. And then let's walk those hands backwards this time to our fold. And inhale, let's come to a flat back. Hands can come to the thighs or the shin. Maybe we can find our toes or the mat looking forward. And then exhale, folding. And now let's soften those knees, roll our way up so slowly. We've been upside down for a bit. Hands find the sky. And then exhale, cactus arms, open up that chest.
inhaling up and exhale let's sit down into our chair again good inhaling high exhale let's fold forward Good, walking our hands out, find a downward facing dog. We'll lift up that right leg and we'll step forward all the way in between our fingers. Good, tiny little hop with our left foot pressing the heel into the mat. Both heels are pressing. We're going to pull this left hip forward and inhale up into a warrior one. Keep the bend in the right knee. Good, and now let's bring those arms back behind us. We can hold the yoga ball if we would like. We can clasp those hands together, pull the shoulders back, lift the heart, bend in that right knee. Good. If we're happy here, we stay here. If we would like, we could be a little bit more humble by bowing forward, and lift our hands. up behind us, whether we're clasping or we're holding that yoga ball. Still just pulling those shoulders back. Good. Slowly, let's lift that chest back up. Release the hands. We'll just bring them together at our hearts. We'll lengthen in that right leg, still pulling both hips flat in front of us. And then we'll uh, hinge at the hips. And we'll come down into pyramid. Hands can stay at our heart. They can come down to our thigh. They can come down to our shin. Good, gently let's bend that right knee. Hands can find the mat. We'll step back into our full lunge again, opening those legs a little bit wider. Good, inhale, high lunge. And then exhale, let's turn to the right. Now, keeping that twist in our spine, let's lower that right hand down toward our thigh. Lift up the left toward the sky. Good. Coming back to the center, both hands nice and tall. And now let's open up warrior two, lowering that left heel down to the mat, bending deeply in that right knee. Arms are reaching in opposite directions, pulling the shoulders back, lifting the head. Let's lift up that right hand, lower the left for reverse warrior. And then we'll come down into a side angle here. If we're happy here, we stay here. We can reach that hand up above our head. Or if we would like, we can try into a bind. So we can take this left hand, reach it back behind us. Right hand goes underneath of our leg. See if we can clasp our hands together. 
around that right thigh. Good, let's release the bind if we've bound. Hands can find the floor. We'll step back, downward facing dog. Wiggle it out. And then we'll inhale forward into our plank. Exhale, we'll lower down. Inhale, we can do a cobra or we can come to upward facing dog. Lifting the thighs up off of the mat. Good. Tucking the toes. Lifting the hips up and back for downward facing dog. And let's lift up that left leg. And we'll step forward in between the hands. And then a little hop with that right foot so we can come up into warrior one, lowering that right heel down, pulling the hip forward, hands come up high. And now from here, we can open up that heart, pulling the shoulders back, lifting the chest. Or we can clasp our hands together, whatever works the best today. Keeping that bend in the, right, in the left knee. Now, if we would like, we can bow forward, lifting the hands up a little higher. And then slowly we'll lift the heart, release the hands, wiggle those fingers if we need, bringing them together at our hearts. Let's lengthen in that left leg, keep pulling the right hip forward, hinging at the hips for pyramid pose. Good, let's bend that left knee. Fingers can find our mats again. We'll step back into a full lunge, opening those legs really wide. Find our balance here, inhale, high lunge. And then exhale, let's twist to the left. And now let's lower the left hand down, lift the right. And then we'll come back to the center and then open up warrior two. Woo. Good, let's lift that left hand up, drop the right for reverse warrior.
And now let's lower down to side angle. Our version of side angle. Be straight up with that right hand above our head, really sinking down whew, into this lunge. After a little bit, if we would like to try the bind, we don't have to. You can reach back behind, reach underneath, try and clasp those hands together, and then open up the shoulders, looking toward the sky. Beautiful, gently releasing, hands can find the mat. We'll step back for downward facing dog. Give ourselves a little wiggle here. And now let's begin to walk our feet forward, heel toe all the way up to about halfway, and then our hands will come back toward the feet. So we'll find ourselves about midway in toward our, in our mat. Little fold here. And now let's open up those feet a little wider. Toes will point to the corners. And then we'll lower the bums down for a malasana squat. Good. Hands can come back down, either in front or behind. We'll lower ourselves down onto our bottoms and shake those legs out if we need. And then we'll just come into a comfortable seated position at the moment. Take a breath, feel those sitting bones rooting down in towards our mat. Good, and now let's take this right hand and much like that bind, we're going to reach back behind us. See if we can touch the left hip with the backs of our fingers. We'll hold on to that hand, keep it in place with the left, lengthen in our neck and then exhale lower our head over to the left Beautiful, let's release that hand. Back to the center with the head, and then we'll move over to the other side. So left hand reaches behind, finding that right hip or somewhere in that general area. Right hand will help hold it in place. Lengthen on the inhale, exhale. Shoulders melt away and our head just moves over to the right. Now think about moving the shoulder up to the ear. We're moving the ear to the shoulder.
and then we'll gently release the hand. Head comes back up to the center. Good. Lengthen on that inhale. We're just going to walk our hands around to the right. Left hand will find the outside of this right thigh. Lengthen as we inhale. Keep twisting as we exhale. And once we find the twist where we want it to be, we'll begin to lift up the right hand. Reach it up and over, and we're just going to lower our shoulder down toward the left. Inhale, let's come back up and unwind. Lengthen and then exhale. We'll just walk those hands around to the left. Right hand finds the out th side of the thigh. Left hand can find the floor behind us. Keep lengthening on the inhales, creating space in between all of our vertebra. And then as we exhale, there's room for the twist. Once we find that twist where we like it, we'll keep this right hand on the left thigh. Left hand reaches up and over. We'll begin to tip our weight over to the right, lowering the shoulder down toward the knee. And let's inhale, coming on back up and unwinding. And we'll uncross those legs and bring our feet out in front of us. And bring the knees into our chest and we'll rock our way back onto our backs. Hugging the knees tightly into our body, rolling up into our little egg here. It. And now we'll just let those feet come down to the mat, shoulders and head will come down to our mats, and then our hands are actually going to come underneath of our butts, pressing the palms into our mats, pulling the shoulders back. We're going to press into our forearms. Knees can be bent or they can go long up to you on this. We're going to press into those elbows and forearms, open up the chest, and begin to look up above our head, opening up in the front of our throat, up into the chest. This is called fish pose. Keep pressing into those forearms, pulling the shoulders back.
And then gently, we'll release the head. You can bend those knees again. Free our arms. And then we can tuck our chin. Roll up into our ball. Good. Let's lift those legs up high into the sky, flexing those feet, holding behind the calves or the thighs. We'll gently just begin to relax our shoulders down in toward the mat. And as we do that, maybe we encourage those legs to come with us a little bit. If we need to gently bend the knees for this, we totally can. Of course we can. Or maybe we bend and then lengthen, bend and lengthen. Good, and now let's release those hands from the thighs. We'll bend the knees into about a 90 degree angle. Our hands can come out to either side. Shoulders are relaxed. Inhale here and then exhale. We'll let the knees fall over to the left. Do one more breath here. And then on our next inhale, we'll bring those knees up to the center. And exhale, let them fall over to the right. One more breath. And on the next inhale, we'll bring the knees back into our chest. 
We'll roll up into our egg again, hugging those knees tightly into our bodies. Inhaling. Exhaling completely. Let's release those arms and legs down to our mats. We close our eyes. We soften our jaw. We allow our bodies to just relax and let the earth support it. When we're ready, please not before we deepen our breath.
gently moving our fingers and our toes. As we bring awareness back into our bodies. When it's time, we'll bring the knees in toward our chest and we'll roll over onto our side. And gently help ourselves up to seated. A moment to see how we're feeling right now. After our practice and after our Shavasana nap. Inhale, let's lift the hands up to the sky, bringing them together at the top. And then we'll exhale them down to our hearts with a purpose. It is my pleasure and absolute honor that you shared your time with me today allowed me to help you through your practice. Hope that you feel even just the tiniest bit better than when we started. I wish you a very, very happy rest of your day. The light and the divine in me recognizes and respects the light and the divine in you. And when we are together, whether physically or virtually, we are one. Namaste.